all right everyone welcome back to tall tales custom tackles um gonna jump right into it got the plastic heated up um we're gonna attempt a triple color laminate eight inch eel um i looked at multiple american eel um pictures and i mean there's some of them's got more of a almost all of them got kind of a pearl milky looking white bottom uh some of them has more of a, a silver metal black back some of them has a kind of like a copperish bronze mix in it so we're just going we're just, we're going to scrap what i originally was going to do and we're going to do a triple but i want to make something uh honestly i just want to start mixing and see what it comes out to be i i want to make a pearl belly with like a little bit of sparkle in it uh the the middle i want to actually do kind of like a bronze you know uh maybe put a little bit of black flake in it for texture and same with the back go with like a smoke back you know and put a little bit of black flake in it and we'll see how it turns out but anyway um i'm actually using i got a little bit of this left i'm using the um the swim bait jerk bait blend the floating plastic um uh, it's been a while since i used any because i pretty much uh 99.9 percent .9 of all the plastic i use is bait plastic so um this is actually the first time i've used dead on in a while i still had some and i wanted to use it um i honestly forgot how the smell difference between dead on and um bait plastics there's a big difference in in how they smell um anyway let's get to it try to angle you a little bit there we go the uh the belly like i say i'm gonna do a pearl and that's just a uh, regular old pearl white powder it's gonna probably take more than that but i didn't want to put too much in it at first i like to uh when it comes to the powders i i actually like to mix them a little bit at a time you know so if i'm gonna do a lot i try to break it up a little bit because it takes longer to to do of course i might not even need no more that over there actually might be enough that was just shy of a uh of a quarter and i honestly think that's gonna be enough we're gonna see how it looks anyway set that to the side that might be might be enough i got some of this old cheap walmart glitter only time i use this uh this is crystal diamond it really just gives it a uh kind of like a little sparkle effect uh so i use it in some of my in some of my baits and it really don't do much other than just add a little bit of kind of like a a real light sparkle to it make sure we got it mixed up good we're gonna have to reheat all these and you know get them try to see how close of temperature we can get because when you're doing this triple you need it honestly as close as possible uh sometimes it's i'll 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 be honest with you sometimes it's hard to get the uh all three of them you know close all right I'm going to start out with just a couple of drops of uh, brown, and I do mean a... Get that out of there. That wasn't supposed to happen. That's the only thing I hate about... Well, uh, might not be... Of course, they look melted, so... Anyway, if you ever notice when you get uh, these dead-on colors, it has them where they seal it together that uh that kind of like wax a piece of that wax fell off in there but it melted down so i ain't that worried about it i don't think it's gonna mess anything up 
put just a small touch of bronze. Let me see my smaller. Just a small touch of bronze and we'll probably add some more liquid pigment. I just want to Yeah, we're going to add more liquid. I just wanted to get that little that little touch of bronze powder in there. I might actually add a couple of drops of black in this also to try to reach the, uh, the look that I'm going for. Because, you know, over the years I've caught quite a few eels on uh, on the lake and I mean they always vary in color yeah that looks that actually looks pretty good that's close to what I'm going for uh, a couple more and who knows, this might turn out to look like crap. Or it might be pretty awesome. We'll see when uh, I like how that looks. We're going to ride with that. All right. And I still might add a little bit of black um, plate to that when I ain't decided yet. Yeah, that plastic's starting to cool down and getting a little thicker. All right, that's, that's plenty of black. Because I actually, gonna, I'm making these for personal use. Next time, I might have could have went with a, a couple of... Uh, less drops of black hopefully that's not too thick all right maybe that's not too thick but you know what if it is it's just fine yeah i think i'm i think i'm still gonna add a a little bit of uh a black flake this one of course I could put a little bit in the in the bottom I don't think it'll hurt anything but for this first little run I'm gonna leave it just like that all right there we go heat them back up let me set you right there and I'll talk to you a second and that thing goes fast we are in eight minutes good gracious all right let's go a minute and 22 seconds and see um anyway get this right here set up and we will see I um I only I've actually only shot this uh, eel one time that I can remember. So I haven't, uh, all I've done is just single color. So this right here would be a, uh, the first laminated color. So I'm, I'm curious to see how the, uh, how the triple going to work. And it's been a while since we used a triple on the channel. So um, I actually, I ain't, I ain't wearing it. I only wear it if I'm off camera, but I finally got me a little respirator so I can wear that when uh when I'm out here, you know, for long periods of time making uh making bait. I did I saw uh fat guys fishing, they have a um they have injectors now, so um I went ahead and bought another injector. I didn't really necessarily need it, you know, I didn't need one but I did, I bought a four ounce, <clears throat> and um, you might be wondering why I went with a small one, just cause, you know, I have a six, I got a 10. Um, I figured I'd just get a four ounce and try it out and see how, 
see how well the uh, you know how well their injectors are I saw they they uh, mentioned that they will have a dual injector coming out you know I'm curious to see how uh, that's gonna look and also the uh, you know I've been seeing a lot of people talk about the uh, in I think it's N2 manufacturing uh, they got some good looking stuff I haven't tried none of theirs out but uh, like I said I, I wanted to I wanted to try out the uh, fat guys fish and I figured I'd give it a chance um, you know I didn't necessarily need it now I would have went with the uh, mainly I want to see how how it does you know uh, I don't I don't want anything over six ounces that's got the standard small barrel. The reason being, I had the uh, the ten ounce bass tackle that time, and the damn thing was like three feet long, and you know it was just I didn't like it. So uh, you know if they come out with a depends on the size of it. You know if they came out with something bigger than an eight, you know I might would buy one just to just to have it. But anyway, I'm gonna. They, uh, when they announced them, they said they got a bunch in stock, and uh, you know they should ship within. Uh, should ship within like I think they said they should ship around Monday. So, all right, let's see here. Let's see how close the temperature they are. Yeah, they're they're all pretty close. All right, let's see if we can get you. I mean, this might not be the best angle, but uh, yeah, you you ain't gonna see me suck it up, but you'll see me over. Well, you know what? I'm gonna put you over here. I mean, that's a little bit far away, but at the same time, you can see what's going on. Like I said, I can I can tell a difference in the uh, in the plastic. All right, and I honestly don't know how far this will go. I don't even know if that one filled up. I could have went a little bit thicker on the uh, bronze, but we'll see how it looks. And there's the colors again. And if you're wondering, this mold is like 12 inches tall. Oh, uh, this, yeah, this bait is an 8 inch, but the mold is actually 12 inches tall. So, and I could have just stuck it in uh, in my vise down here, but I chose to just do it like that. But, uh, anyway let me sit you over here i'm gonna turn this fan up and try to suck like i gotta say that um uh, i'm not i'm not knocking uh dead on products because i mean i i use i have used a lot of dead on plastic you know um there for a long time that's all i bought was dead on plastic um Cause I started out with a uh, uh, let's see some it was like lure works or one of them companies like that I bought some off of uh, and I started out using that and I just I honestly did not like it uh, you know each is their own I just I didn't care for it. 
you know um i didn't uh, i bought two and a half gallons to try out and i just didn't really care for it then i swapped over and i started using um uh, i started using the uh dead on i used it for a, a long while like i say, i still got a little bit of it left uh, i've almost used it all i've been trying to slowly use it all um and don't get me wrong it's good stuff but i just in my personal opinion everybody's opinion, uh, opinions you know they got them um i do prefer bait plastics um it's hard to beat the price is great and that smell right there you don't i don't i don't get that with bait plastics that their stuff honestly if i was in here and not on video i'd have that door open the fan on i'd probably be wearing that because that is pretty strong <clears throat> if you can't tell got me down I'm a little choky but anyway you should always wear uh safety equipment anytime you're you're making baits i mean believe me when i'm when i'm not doing it on video i i have a mask on and i have my big fan on usually so uh, that ain't gonna take much longer i'm honestly just running my mouth and cleaning up this you know old drippage that dripped off and we're gonna check them out and see see how they did i mean they might be uh they might be good they might not um i am curious to see how them colors uh you know work together but with that being said they're gonna be great for me because like i say i'm gonna these i'm gonna personally use uh might not catch anything but you know what you ain't gotta catch something every time you go uh, i can honestly say uh, it ain't very often that i go and not catch a single fish but it does happen i mean it happens to everybody i mean if you go out there and you catch a fish every single time you go you're a bad mamma jamma um like i say it ain't very often that i don't but but with that being said i'm one of those that i might go and be out there 10 12 hours you know depends on the day all right we have pretty much about got this stuff cleaned up and i have about wasted enough of your time all right i'm pretty sure well you know what we're gonna give that a few more seconds i'm gonna angle this down and i know some people like to see inside let's see if it comes out intact come on there we go you got the black the more bronze and and we'll see oh damn it i keep on wasting time all right oh i see why the the screw had backed out on that side a little bit all right there we go now let's get this right here and this is just personal preference uh, i like to pull all that up at one time you know i like to pull the sprues up and and you know the big chunks like that and that's just something i do all right let's see if these made anything worth talking about oh and they come out backwards actually 
Wow. That, let me let me see if I can get where you can actually see. That's pretty good. I'm trying to see if it you can see it on camera, but that bronze is showing up right down the center, and I mean, damn, that looks good. Yeah, you can see a little bit right there. I'm, I was hoping I could get it to, to focus a little better on camera. Let's see. If this one has a little bit more bronze in the middle. Right there in that angle, you can see it. Uh, trying to... It's hard to see on camera, I can tell you that. Uh, it actually... I can see it really good by looking right here. there you go you can see it a little bit down the center all right I'm actually uh happy with with how those turned out I'm gonna throw them to the side I'm actually uh I am happy with that. I'm going to reheat this up. I'm going to load this. And I'm going to shoot it one more time. But I'm going to pause you meanwhile and get it set up. Shoot it again. And I'll shoot it again on camera. Uh, but I'm going to pause you for a minute. Alright. Got everything laid out ready again. Let me see if I can get you. I can get you where you can see what's going on. turn out perfect on the first go around let me turn this light on and see if i can i'm still trying to get the camera to to show that that bronze you can see it right there a little bit that bronze down the center some of them have it a little bit thicker than others like this right here has got a lot of bronze down the center Yep, not bad. I'm I'm happy with how they I'm happy with how they turned out. I uh, really am. I'll I'm actually I'll rig one of them up later on my uh, on my on my big um, Carolina rod because that's what I want to do it with uh carolina that's why i went with it i want to see how good the floating plastic is going to do with a like a bigger um style hook also i want to i'm going to use it with like a um probably a six alt you know somewhere there um and see how well it does but anyway um trying to think if there's anything else i can update you on let's see oh i did buy a uh well, if you 
it's all my you know i got this old school you know vintage old school label maker i did i did buy a better one where i can print off labels so uh i did spend the morning and i when you, let's see you know i spent in the morning and uh pulled all the old labels off and put all new labels on all those molds so i did do that uh trying to think anything else i i got going on um no i'm i'm pretty sure that's current well i did i did get a couple of new colors in that i i haven't tried yet i usually mix my own plum up but I saw they had a plum dye which it's you know i haven't tried it yet but i plan on checking it out let's see if this uh where this one uh this one right here violet it really looks almost purple to me but i'm curious about it because it costs I mean, it looks almost like a, a dark, dark purple. You know, and I'm curious about it, it because it cost way more. Like, for example, those pints, I usually pay, uh, these pints from Lure Works are like um, $13 or something like that. Well, that, uh, that violet was actually down like $18.99 for a pint. You know so it costs a lot more for the violet so i, I want to check it out and see you know what reason it costed uh more um it was another color i bought oh I, i'm gonna try their chartreuse out i usually use mf uh chartreuse but you know i trying it out anyway this should be ready enough of me running my mouth let's get this let's get this done and these eels i mean yeah I'll, I'll probably sell some but i very seriously doubt that i'll i'll offer any triple color uh eels because it's it's so time consuming and all uh the average person when i mean don't get me wrong if somebody really wants them and they want to pay for it you know i'll make them but i'm gonna have to charge a lot more because of the the amount of plastic used and the extra time i mean it's very time consuming so the triple injector is not something i got just to make and try to sell baits it just you know you that ain't really gonna happen all right turn this light on see if they can Oh, I had one or two of them. But I was trying to get them where they stayed in the mold. Man, I, I wish I could get the camera to focus a little better. That is nice. Uh, I'm actually, it's one of them situations where I'm actually impressed with myself. You know, um, that color turned out really nice all right we fixing to wrap this video up i'm gonna try to lay them back in there um you know get a little shot for the uh for the thumbnail and wrap it up because it it's done got hot out here um it's 87 in here right now and the reason being yeah i keep it uh climate controlled but you know with this right here fan going and it's sucking all that out and this heat it gets hot in here um but when i'm actually out here and i'm doing an order or something like that and i'm running a long period of time like the day before i had uh i was out here for about three or four hours doing it and it was holding around 96 in here i mean pretty damn hot um you know so when i'm doing that i just go ahead and turn the air off because ain't no need to waste it um but anyway we're gonna wrap this up um hopefully that was satisfying um i'm actually very satisfied with that that is i mean that's a lot better than i expected uh i really you know 
I was trying to build something that looked very similar and that one there really looks legit like a uh, like a eel it actually looks like some of the ones that I've caught here on our Lake Seminole um, anyway as always thank you um, I really do appreciate everybody that watches the channel everybody that comments um, if you you know if you want if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it you know what to do uh share it on your social media share it with your friends um you know try to spread the word we're we're steady growing um you can always check us out on instagram um you can check us out on facebook under tall tales custom tackles you can always hit me up on my personal page eric gilly um you know i'll be glad to try to answer any questions and um anyway Thank you for watching. We will catch you next time.